Uh, Sharmila, over to you. You've acted across industries and you've uh, tasted success as well. At a time like this when we're seeing a huge language uh, debate or a war on which language should be made the official language uh, or which is superior and which is inferior, uh, today it seems like cinema itself you know, has, has, has literally transcended barriers. There is, no lang there is no one single language that you can call a main Indian language anymore. And that's what the South stars seem to have been fighting for and come from a point of conviction because their films are doing so well. They are, of course. Uh, first of all, hi, Nabila. Thank you so much for having me on this discussion. And I really feel like uh, this is a very hot topic of debate uh, as of today because of all the things that have been surrounding, um, especially with the films in the South doing so well off lately. Um, I would like to start by saying that, uh, you know, the industry, first of all, cinema is an art form, right? So uh, we, the thing is, uh, of course, even though we always, as a South film industry, we always had phenomenal films for the last, like uh, Ram Gopal Verma sir said, that for the last uh, couple of decades, there have always been great films in the South coming. But of course, not like this to the point where everyone all over India sits up and takes notice, isn't it? So um, I feel like uh, right now what we are going through is a slight transition, I would say, because... Um, why? I, uh, I want to ask you why. Why do you think there's this sudden shift? Do you think really people like masala and South offers masala not as much as uh, the no that, that Bollywood does? You, you won't believe it, Nabila, but uh, for, for a very long time, if it, uh, I mean, although I've done predominantly only South Indian films, uh, the, many times I've traveled to the North for work or for, to Bombay, and a lot of people recognize me, and they say that they have watched my South Indian dub film in Hindi, which yeah. would be uh, viewed on television. So they would always say that we watched the Hindi version of your South film which means there were a lot of views and um, so and even like even on youtube or you know any other platforms they would dub it into hindi and people would watch it so, like the number of views were mad like really insane mm. so i'm guessing there was always a huge uh, a viewership or a market for south films to be watched in the north but, but as well Bollywood so right now failed to tap that and it seems that's exactly what ram gopal verma said i'm going to cut across to manvi taneja who's uh, of course uh, in the bollywood film industry manvi the fact of the matter is now that uh, that bollywood directors the industry itself seem to be grappling with this kind of success that's lit overshadowed them coming from the southern industries do you feel that bollywood has been caught unaware have they failed to really catch the pulse of the people at large which is why we see them struggling largely with a huge gap when it comes to revenues between the south and bollywood uh, no no i i don't think that bollywood bollywood is struggling see it is a combined effort but uh, to start with i i want to say that uh, why there is a war why i see there is a war increasing between north and south bollywood and tollywood initially it started with the language war and now it's uh, it has come up to the afford thing that the Bollywood cannot afford whatever fee uh, I'll, I'll take from Bollywood. See, it is a combined effort. There's been instances where Bollywood has uh, literally uh, supported uh, South movies financially. I'll give you an example. Like Dharma Production, uh, money has invested in Bahubali. Excel Entertainment, money has in invested in KGF. So I feel it is a combined effort. And that, Bollywood that way you have directors like Ram Gopal Verma, who comes from the South, has done extensively in, in Bollywood. Has, the money has go gone both ways. It's not like Bollywood is spending on uh, Southern industries. It, it comes both ways. Wherever the mar market is lucrative, that's where money is put in. So uh, nobody is at anyone's behalf. But, but, but it is a combined, no, see, okay, it's a combined effort. I, I agree it's a market. with that. It's an open market. No, it, it's That's a, what so it is. I'll, I'll also say like that. See, listen to me. You're saying it's a market. Um, the I'm saying no, one, said, is, no, no one, one is at anyone's mercy. This is an open no, market. No, my, Money is spent on where it could be Mahesh lucrative said, and Mahesh generate said revenue. That in Bollywood, no, no. I'm talking about when he said that Bollywood cannot afford me. He was like, he cannot afford me. I'll, I'll not be able to earn that much of respect in Bollywood. Uh, according to the sources, he normally takes around 88 crores uh, per movie. And in Bollywood, uh, the actors, mo many actors take more than 100 crores per movie. It's nothing like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, as far as respect is concerned, respect, boss, you cannot buy it. You need to earn it. Like Alu Arjun, he has earned respect uh, by showing his work in Pushpa. Yes, he has earned respect 
by uh, showing his work in KGF, like Pravas in uh, Bahubali. So you need to earn respect. You need to show to the audience. Maybe he is scared. Maybe he has uh, he has something well, in his you mind know, that we just, to, just to uh, maybe maybe uh, you know give uh, being the devil's advocate here, speaking for uh, Mahesh Babu, I'm telling you he is a massive massive star on power with any of the stars that you mentioned for, today. You know, what what he possibly he what he possibly for? is saying? No no. Uh, just just possibly mm. what he's saying is that the Telugu film industry is a lot more lucrative. There's a lot more money that they make and it's more sensible for him to release a film in Telugu and dub it in other films instead of acting predominantly in Hindi. It doesn't I make like sense to, because it doesn't like make answer. that money. I would like to answer. I would like to give a benefit of doubt because after Pend and Mick, the movie was released.